You see this, guys? It's getting re we're getting real close. But what's up, guys? If there's one thing that TikTok has shown me, it's that most of the people on there should not have the amount of followers they have simply because they can't handle the assumed responsibility. And no, I'm not talking about Charlie D'Amelio or any of those other popular TikTokers who ignore any kind of constructive criticism they get. In fact, today we're going to be taking a look at someone who is in every way the opposite of Charlie D'Amelio other than being a girl. So depending on how long you've been using TikTok, some of you have may have seen this video on your For You page, or at least have seen someone do it. How am I supposed to go to fucking work without nicotine? And for those who haven't, I know that was confusing, but that's what everyone else got. I'll play it for you one more time, but I don't think that would help. How am I supposed to go to fucking work without nicotine? Still confused? Uh, here, all right, I'll play it in slow motion for you, but this time, really pay attention to what's being said. But after that video made its rounds on TikTok, we got radio silence. Either she had put her profile on private because of all the comments she was getting, or she had succumbed to her crippling nicotine addiction and passed away from sweet lady cancer. Whatever it was, I just wanted to know what happened next. Like, I have homies who smoke cigarettes, and ne never, not once, have I seen them get to that stage of withdrawal. I've seen homeless people who pick up cigarettes off the street who haven't even reached that level yet. And because this girl had reached levels of addiction that surpassed homelessness, I said, Thank you, but no thank you. I will be jacking off to another TikToker this evening. But like YouTube, TikTok has a habit of showing you multiple videos of one person who you just glanced at. So about two months after that, uh, the original nicotine video disappeared, TikTok decided that they were going to show me another one of her videos. Only this time, I knew we were getting closer to the true content that Ketamine Addict is known for up uploading. How do I explain to my father that the police are looking for her? and they are looking for my license plate. And after I saw that, I'm like, all right, well, now I'm gonna have to follow you because apparently you did find your nicotine, but now you're committing crimes as an accomplice. And while that is a step backwards, that's much more easier to jack off to. But anyways, after she goes on like a five video rant on why her and her friend are innocent because I quote, and I quote, we don't stand for that shit. We don't stand for that shit. I'm like, all right, I'm giving you one more chance to live up to that energy you first had or just shut the fuck up. And lo and behold, guys, I got the holy grail. I, honestly, I was expecting for, you know, a little N-word video to be thrown out, you know, a little video from her past where she uses the hard R here or there, you know, but, I wasn't expecting something this massive, you feel me? So this dumb, uh, uh, yeah, so you know what? Yeah, this dumb bitch thought it would be a great idea for to ask her quarter of a million followers to commit a felony for the sake of her well-being. Don't know why I did that. I am offering $50. No, scratch that. I'm offering a hundred fucking dollars to whoever calls in a bomb threat to my work. Located at <laughs> State Street, <laughs> California, Five. Do it, bitch. Easy hundred dollars. This fucking idiot really said that. And what's even stupider is that this was left up for an hour. And you know what's even more retarded? She uploaded a video after that saying, still waiting for you guys to call in that bomb threat. Like I said. Please. Now the first video was deleted, but like I said, it was up for an hour. And here were some of the comments that were left on it. Shout out whoever just called LMAO and you're welcome. I hope you get off and I hope you go to jail. Do you realize you just nonchalantly called in a fucking bomb threat to a business filled with people? And for what? To get someone you don't even know off of work? What if she worked at a fucking hospital, you idiot? Like even at my peak stupidity, which dipped off around high school, bomb threats were never an option. Not to mention the hundreds of other possible calls that were made that actually she said were made by people who aren't dumb shits who incriminate themselves. Like, you think I'm the only person who saved that video? I have seen the worst of the worst on TikTok and none of them have been as bad as someone asking their followers to act as a terrorist so they can get off their shitty job. And you want to know what's even more asinine about this whole situation other than me calling, describing it as asinine? She got caught. That's it, nothing else. That's She got caught and that's it. I just wanna know which one of you called in a bomb threat 10 fucking times to my work. Not once, not twice. You called it in 10 fucking times, bro. I got fucking talked to at work tonight. He's like, why were people calling in fucking bomb threats, Amelia? And then one of you bitches ratted me out on TikTok. Hmm. The fact that she still has a job only shows that the idiots who were calling in a bomb threat had to have sounded like, 
uh, yeah, uh, hi, uh, yeah, I'm calling in a bomb threat, and then they hung up. Like, she said someone ratted her out on TikTok to her boss, but n nobody with a, who owns a business would keep an employee there after they just asked their 250,000 followers to call in a bomb threat so they can leave early. Like, she even commented on the waiting for the call video, y'all got me in so much trouble, that phone hasn't rang in that much in months, and who the fuck reported me to my boss? Honestly, I would have, but I didn't want my number to get mixed in with all the other numbers in the police report of people who called in a fucking bomb threat. Like, there's no way that someone like her should have any kind of following. And you know what? She still has that video up saying she's still waiting for her call, your guys' call up on her profile. So I'm gonna take that as she still wants you guys to call. So this is not where she works, and this is not the name she has on her profile. Obviously, I don't want you guys to be put on any list that your internet search history hasn't already got you on. So I'm gonna, obviously I'm gonna say don't call in a bomb threat, but more so probably just call the place and let them know that there's video proof of one of their employees telling people to call in a bomb threat so they can get off early and that you actually have proof and that you're not just saying she uploaded a TikTok doing that so that she can get some actual repercussions and not just live life where she can make, tell people to make bomb threats without any uh, consequences for that. I'm offering a hundred fucking dollars to whoever calls in a bomb threat to my work. So before I finish this video, I wanted to talk about one more TikToker real quick. This one is not really abusing power. It's just the, or his TikTok was horribly timed. So real quick, this guy, King Moksu on TikTok recently uploaded a video where he let us his grandpa died due to COVID. Now that's not the funny part. I'm not a asshole. What's funny about it is the little, the, the video he uploads literally right after that. Hey guys, I don't really ask you guys for much, but, um. Now, what do you think he is going to ask us for? Is it A, donate to his grandpa's funeral GoFundMe, B, subscribe to his YouTube, C, it's another I ain't never seen two pretty best friends joke, or D, click the link in his bio so we can get a free PS5. I'll give you a few seconds to decide. You got your answer locked in? All right, let's go for the reveal. Hey guys, I don't really ask you guys for much, but um, this artist hit me up, and if I get 3,000 people to click the link in my bio and pre-save his song, he's going to give me two PS5s, one to keep and one to give away. So if you guys could just click the link and sign up, thank you. Yep, this dude really was contemplating whether or not he should come back to TikTok because his grandpa just fucking died, but no more than 24 hours later does he sell out for a PS5. And yeah, he says he's giving away one to us, but then he uploaded this next video where he's literally just begging you to pre-save that song. Pre-save his song. He's gonna give me two PS5s, one to keep and one to give away. So We're almost halfway there. I need like 1,700 more. So if everybody that sees this video could just click the link in my bio and then sign out the little form. It's like four questions. Please, please, please. Thank you so much. I want to do this for you guys. I love how a PS5 can make someone's emotions just change like that. Like you can even tell in the video, dude's sad as shit, but it's like that he's apparently a PS5 can give him the strength to make the video. Like my dude was done. He was lost. There were no answers for what was to come next. He was dead. Devastated. What? He just, he's, he's fine. He just wants us to pre-save a song from an artist we've never heard of so he can get a free PS5. But, but I have to waste my money on the pre-order? Now I know why his grandpa died. But yeah, guys, that's it. I know this guy wasn't like the, or I know this guy wasn't like the first girl I talked about, but y'all already know what she's about. But this guy is known for, uh, just known for begging for likes and follows simply for that fact of having likes and follows. Like this dude begged his way to 34k on YouTube and he has three videos out. Two of them being stuff a 10 year old with a Charlie D'Amelio fan account could make and one of them being a Q&A video he uploaded a month ago. You gotta love the consistency. But again, that's it guys. Adding that last guy was like a last minute decision because I saw that PS5 video and I'm like, damn dog, less than 24 hours and a $500 gaming console just makes your G-Paw's death mean nothing to you? That's radical. If you guys do not get me to 50,000 followers on fucking Instagram by next week, I'm gonna beat the living shit out of my mother.